Is this an abandoned 2016 Dodge Relay Ram? Nope. It's my truck I've let sit here due to a bad transmission. Nature decided to try to take it over. But it's finally time it's going to the transmission shop. But first, you need to rip the bed off and start building a flatbed. Because I kind of screwed it up a little with the dear old goose in there right before the trans went out. So now it's time to uh, build a flatbed. I'm Tyler Dylan Cox, and this is DC Fine. <laughs> It's alive! It's just next to that big one. You know what we gotta do is turn the key. What's happening? We are, of course, having to jump start it. Key and ignition, yes. Takes so many electronics to make it work. Oof. We'll give it a little bit. I think she's ready to be pulled. I got all my bed bolts out and the lights off. I guess I need to shove those through there or let them break like a good human being. Yeah, that's right. Those I'm hoping I'll just rip the bed out from around them and we'll call it good. So I suppose I should get a chain in the bobcat and we'll see if it comes off. Well, we got the bed off. High five, dude. Yeah. For a while, I had the idea to bob it. But since the hitch is built into it, I'm not going to do that. What's awkward though is, okay, we're flat here, but then boom, you have to deal with that freaking hump of a thing. And then here, these are just sitting so low that you have to almost build the whole thing up. But the point we're just gonna have to go over is here. And what, what's even that? What is, I don't know. But first we gotta get things cleaned up with our black magic. The magic of the black is amazing. It just, it does it, it takes, Takes all the sin away. It's uh, pretty good. So we're gonna get this cleaned up and then start building. Right here, right now, I'm kind of playing the guessing game because of this factory gooseneck. Yeah, it's a muffler. I, I gotta be able to clear it if I need to clear it. And I wanna be as close as possible because I want to keep my bed low as possible. I don't, you know, you see some flat beds way up in here, and I want as close to the frame as I can be, but two inches strong enough to then stronger than an inch and a half. So we're looking at something like that. I could probably go a little lower in the front, maybe. I see that I do have a little bit of give there, so maybe we'll do that. Right now, it's just playing with it, seeing what what works to create mounts. Got the bumper off to get a good visual so I can measure how far I need to extend my runners to begin with. And uh, I like how this is flat, but I'm not sure if this will work. I'm, I'm going to have to play with it. So much of this is just playing with it. Yeah, those could hold something. That's right. Um, which would be pretty easy to just bolt something to or from this side. But we'll see. So here, went ahead and got my runners. Or stringers, wherever you want to call them, in place. I tacked it just temporary, like 
That way I can figure out where I want to put my mounts and nothing will move because that's the whole issue. If one thing moves, well, then you're screwed. Zane just texted me that he's too hot to begin. Well, I know that's a lie and he will be here momentarily, I am sure. But now I need to go ahead and get some angle bolted to some of these spots and uh, mount it. I'll see what he thinks we should do there. Oh, actually, I know what we should do there. Let's turn a piece of angle on end here, weld a nut there, boom. That's what we're gonna do. So now I need to get angle and mount these. So the voice of reason has spoken. He said, will I be able to clear when we're squatting? That's an awfully good question. I mean, it would be super close, closer than I would want for comfort. Right. Hmm. But we know how you get away with everything in life. <laughs> Not lately. <laughs> Got one mount there, second one we're going to pull the tubing and put it in, but we're going to put this in first. It's bolted, that way it can be taken out. And down here, with this being all boxed in and such, you can't really get to it. So we're going to weld these mounts to the frame and then bolt it through there, which is better than nothing, I suppose. See. That way it could be removed when somebody buys this truck out of the junkyard in five years. <laughs> five. So are we in good shape? Is it square? It's within a 30 second. Within a 30 second is more than good in my book. So that's welded in place. This is the back side here, see? So then we're gonna cap it here and then do all our cross pieces. Right, Jerry Lee? Yeah. yeah. All right, sports fans, we're in a pretty good spot now. We've got these floor joists as you call them here done um we have one more to do but i'm out of tubing here and i'm not going to the ranch to get more so we are going to zane suggested kaboom one here kaboom one there and then i'm going to do two either side of the hitch that way we could end up boxing that in and if i'm feeling frisky today i'll start messing with that angle because it's going to go here somewhere Somewhere, somewhere maybe, and then somewhere here. Cut it at a nice angle. That's gonna be sticking way out here, but then we could take this and go down there. Progress though, and then tranny shop tomorrow. Well, she is back from the tranny shop, hence the lights and license plate. Picked up some oil to get rid of that hemi tick. Yeah, that'll, that's a lost cause. Um, now to try to get a deck on this, finish out the rear here. Zane's on his way with some sheeting from the scrap yard. We'll coat all this. Um, I went picked up from the train shop and I had a newer board that works for me in my, my normal business. And uh, I said, hey, just drive that home. Okay, I'll drive it home. Cool. Hops in, I hear it rev up. I'm like, what in the, is it? Did it not get rebuilt? What is the issue? He's like, um, having a little bit of difficulty. Difficulty doing what? Putting it in gear because uh, he's a little rusty driving the old automatic. He does not know how to drive an automatic. Only manual. I have never once seen in my life someone that doesn't know how to drive an automatic. We get almost to my house. I live kind of on the hill in the sharp turn. He cuts the corner short and gets stuck. Well, put him reverse. Um, don't know how. Well, geez. Geez. So I had to elaborate the, the reverse part. You just move the shifter up to R, you know? And uh, I was on the phone with him whilst that was happening. Get over there. The truck is off. And for the record, the truck sat for six months, so the battery was dead. So we'd go restart the truck, stuck in the middle of the road, battery off, or truck off. Uh, I just didn't know how. Did you turn the battery off, or truck off? No. Well, how is it off? How was it off? You can't stall an automatic. So needless to say, that was a situation. Just thought I'd tell you about it. I've never in my life thought I'd meet someone that does not know how to drive an automatic. Anyways, he's a good boy, but... Story time over. Let's get to work. Tubing might be a little long, but we just had to come down to the ranch and we picked that up while we were here. Can you guys 
tape measure handy. Per happenstance, well, Zane most graciously brought sheets. And there's our first one up. We're going to have to measure and cut for the ball. But aside from that, framing's done. Top welds are grinded down for flushness. And it's... And the boss is here. And the boss showed up, yep. So now we really got to get to work. What do we got right there? Is that the big daddy? The big daddy is something I'm not allowed to touch, and I choose not to touch when you it's. Used it before. I know, but I, it's gonna be that close to his bed rail. <laughs> it's and, okay, uh, Nikki, you'll fill it in. Uh, yeah, risk assessment. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> so this is our last sheet for the back side of the bed over there, and uh, yeah, it's it's going pretty swimmingly. It's only 102 right now. Only. Yeah. You see? I ran to the ranch and got pipe. Cause that was my initial thought but then i found this piece of square tubing that was also laying there and it is already like fit that's pretty good it's an inch and some change shorter than the ends of my cuts there and i might actually bring it in more um, but that gives me room to play with it'll sit here and give me good room I could then blow some holes and stick some bolts in there and weld them in and then just bolt it straight to the frame. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, got the trough on. I don't know if I've showed you all that yet. Zane marked this for me to cut because, you know, I'm incapable of things. But it's coming together. I'm ready to drive this truck. Oh, and I ordered some lights with the LEDs. thought that'd be cool and different. Heck, I might even mount them in there. That's a really good thought, Tyler. Good on you. I just have a flat plate. Hmm. Well, that there's pretty handy. Just bolt those in the factory holes and we're just gonna stab her on. Here's what I'm thinking. Flat piece of something laying like that coming into there. But then, it's hard to tell, but from this point down to here somewhere, we can have it end in there. That would look really cool. But she bolts it up pretty dang good. So we'll keep on keeping on it. So now I've got my <clears throat> back plate marked. I'm ready to cut out. It's gonna go yonder here like so. And that'll then give me why I need to start closing these corners up. Still the same cutting wheel. KT makes the best wheels. Gloves down. And there's where we're stopping for tonight. I think that looks pretty dang slick. Notice how we got, well, it's almost a straight line. I have to trim a little bit. Notice here how we have an almost straight line. So that's gonna be pretty swell. So next we'll put our side plate on. And then we'll figure how to cut that. We butt this up and it's just straight shot down. It's coming together. Next day, I got my handy helper with me. Say hi. Hi. Our side rail, I've got clamped up. Well, I'm going to have to work it one way over so it doesn't get boobles in it. But lights. we got this side, yep. And we got our lights we're going to try to do today. Got a lot to do. A lot of ground to cover. Now I've got my side piece, which I'm going to do something for that little corner right there. I got the back, got everything tacked and in place. Now, just going to weld it a bunch. This one. We've got her welded pretty good. <clears throat> Still needs to be ground, but now we have marked for our lights. That's just a decision we just have to make, isn't that right, boys? Right. Right. Yeah, right. Right. Sasa? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, right. we're going to cut these out and hope they match. Boom. Got them cut out. Now to see if the lights actually fit, because nine times out of ten, you got to trim them 67 more times. But we are doing really well. Um, 
It's just warm. That's the only issue, but that's okay because I have a canopy from Walmart, so that's helping a lot, actually. So I'm gonna get these lights in and start the wiring and uh, probably drive it tomorrow. Well, you can't see those wires, hardly, but black is ground, tan and white is hot for my red, and black and the straight white go together. Now to wire all these up and find my missing one that my children ran off with. And there you have it. I welded the entire back side. Still got to do a little welding on my floor. And I found spots that I had completely forgot to weld. Like right here there's a joist. And here all that dang -lang, But then here where I welded it, nothing. So we need to... Put some stick in there. Need to do something here still because I'm not a fan of how that looks. I'm license plate light, obviously, but who cares? But it is there and I'm going to drive it tomorrow. It looks pretty cool if I do say so myself. Um, just really push to try to get it done. And, uh, well, it's usable. Well... It holds 3,500 pounds pretty good. That says something. And there you pretty much have it in the daytime. It's nearly done. Got to finish my corner a little bit. Close that. Put reverse lights. More, you know, it's fun stuff. But for $500, you could build something that's way better than what you could pay for for $3,000. So just go out there, do it yourself. You'll feel better about doing it. Thanks for watching this episode. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you next time.